In other news now, the Srinagar police have uh, rounded up a large number of beggars from various parts of the summer capital under the beggar clearance drive, which was ordered by the district magistrate. And this came after incessant complaints of beggars harassing people for money, especially at signals under the state's Prevention of Beggary Act. Anyone found begging in the city will be immediately arrested. Our correspondent Meer Farid getting us further inputs here with respect to this uh, beggar clearance drive. Uh, Meer, help us understand on how this is being viewed on ground. Well, uh, this is uh, being welcomed by one and all uh, on the ground because uh, people uh, were completely fed up. Uh, they were being pestered by these be beggars almost every year, uh, everywhere, beg your pardon. And in fact, uh, since the holy month of Ramadan is on, so the be beggar menaces all had only increased, and especially on uh, traffic signals, uh, these uh, beggars uh, were creating problems for uh, the common man. And in fact, uh, there were complaints that uh, they were forcing literally people to give them money, and uh, there were also reports that some of them were even more loud, had started to get involved in criminal activities. So uh, the district magistrate, uh, Srinagar, Sraid Abid uh, Rashid Shah, through an order, uh, gave uh, clearance to the police to launch this drive where uh, the beggars uh, need to be cleared from all the signals and uh, wherever they are found. Uh, they have been, in fact, uh, from the last couple of days, uh, hundreds of beggars have been rounded up by the police from various uh, parts of uh, the Kashmir Valley, especially Srinagar. Uh, and uh, they have been taken to police stations. Now, uh, the police say that they, they'll counsel them and they'll be uh, sent back because uh, there are local beggars and there are also non-local beggars. So uh, there could be a possibility that they'll be sent back. But That's yes, right, Meer. That, that was the question I was getting to as far as counseling here is concerned because uh, straight out arrests of people, many would also be looking at this as a human rights violation. Uh, yes, that's right. In fact, uh, that's why they're, they're one... Uh, taking them away and then there could be counselling sessions as well just to uh, ensure that uh, they leave uh, begging and do some other respectable job. Now, that is uh, part two and that's something that the authorities are also looking into. But as far as uh, the nuisance is concerned, uh, this had uh, reached a level where people were fed up now and uh, there were uh, repeated complaints by the common man to the authorities to do something about it. As I said, uh, the, uh, the sheer number had increased many folds. And uh, you uh, take you go to any corner of the Shrinagar city, you would find uh, beggars uh, even outside mosques, temples, uh, public places. So this was really getting alarming, and that's why these these, these steps have been taken and have been welcomed. Yes, uh, there would be people who uh, would talk about human rights violations, but yes, on that count, the police uh, and the administration mm -hmm. say that uh, there will be counselling sessions, and they'll try their best to rehabilitate them in uh, any which way possible. But uh, they will not be allowed to go back and start begging okay. again. All right. So this is this is a clearance drive, uh, and not just uh, clearing up uh, in the form of arresting beggars. Of course, many would found that questionable. But there is uh, also uh, Plan B of counselling for the beggars and their rehabilitation. Meer, many thanks for getting us those inputs.